In fact, I'm ready to endorse Namde Kanu for Biafrans to be free. Tunubu declares. <laughs> you see, Tunubu is speaking out of frustration. You understand? Yes, everybody wants Biafrans to be free. Quite all right. Even I too, I want the Biafrans to be free. But it it is it coming from Tunubu. Eh? Should it should not be trusted? Nobody should believe or trust Tunubu when he makes or voice out something of this kind. You understand? You get it. Tunubu is voicing out because he has been denied of the opportunity of the opportunity to be the flag bearer of APC for presidency. He has been replaced. Do you know that Tunubu has just uh, is, is planning to defect to defect to another party? He's planning to leave APC. You understand? Let us check this content. This is evening news. Asiwaju Pola Ahmed Tunubu has spoken swiftly, saying that he is now ready to help IPOP gain Biafra. For this reason, I am ready to assist Namde Kanu in his struggle. Nigerian has abused opportunities given to them for years. We were at the war. We fought the war. We saw the war. So, can someone please say the difference between then and now? It's just something little and you will see the war being declared again. Barry, speaking through the media, said that President Mo Barry will be the reason why Biafran war will break out again. If that be the case, instead of it to happen, I will give IPOP the support. It is better we allow the Biafrans to go than allow another war to break out. After all, the Biafrans are already existing before our amalgamation. War is not something that we must allow to break out again. We all have an experience of what happened in 1967 and so will not allow it to repeat itself. Tunubu exclaimed. Um, you see, actually Tunubu made a point too. You understand? He made a point. Instead of allowing the allowing war to break out again like 1967, why not allow the Biafrans to go? That's it. Why not allow the Biafrans to go? But then, why am I afraid of this that has just came out of Tunubu is that Tunubu is someone that cannot be trusted. Yes. He's someone that cannot be trusted. He's someone that cannot be believed. He's someone that cannot be believed. So, whatever Tunubu is saying right now is nothing to write him about. He's just saying it so that he will gain trust, confidence, support from the Igbos. Tinubu is just going about enticing people so that they will see reason to love him and give him support once he, decide, he decides to contest as a president irrespective of any party that he decides to join. So the first thing that he is trying to do is to win the hearts of people. So you can see that I was telling someone something that Tunubu is the is a very brainy man. He knows politics more more than anybody. He understands politics. Today, Tunubu is number one citizen of Lagos State. Why? Why? Because of the idea he has applied. You see that? 
is the one citizen. And that is why they call him the number one landlord of the whole of Lagos State because he has the highest properties. See how he brought in the, the, the talks into government and gave them a uniform. Today, the talks are now taken as a government work in Lagos State. <laughs> Oh, what a disgraceful uh, position and profession. Very soon, Tunubu will demand that Togri should be added to, uh, to, 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 to a course as one of the courses in the university. Can you imagine? That's what he's going to say. You get it? So we should not give him that chance or that, or that opportunity. You must not, because he has over, over, overreacted and he has overdone. Nobody must allow him to, to go on with this act, because it's too embarrassing. Too embarrassing. So, my dear listeners, you have heard it all, and you have seen it, how it happened. Do you think that Paul Ahmed Tunubu will really succeed in this pranks that he's playing? Do you think he will succeed in this game that he's playing? I don't think about I don't think so. I don't. So, my dear listeners, I would like to hear from you. Let me hear from you so that I will know what your take is. Or your opinion on this very broadcast maybe don't forget to leave your comments below